Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Just starting a bit in a bimble today. I'm not far from Wunwellwood. Um, I'm at a notorious place called the Convicts Tunnel, just behind me. It's supposed to be haunted. If you're into your paranormal stuff, have a look for Convicts Tunnel in Wunwell Woods. It's not far away, it's about half a mile or so from Woods. Um, Apparently loads of ghosts and that have been seen here. I'm just out for a bimble. It's pissing it down again. But I couldn't be bothered staying in. I needed to get out and about. And I've never been down here. Well, not since I was a kid anyway. So I just thought I'd go and have a look around. And uh, there's a bit of a shortcut through to Pennine Trail as well, which is a nice walk. So if I can find that shortcut from here across to there, that's where I'll do. And uh, I've got a decent walk along to Wisborough or back towards uh, the Manvers that way. So I'll just have a quick pan around where I am. Spitting at minute. Behind me, there's one well woods up there over another railway. And I've come from behind me, from where I live. And then uh, we'll have a butcher's in here. Somewhere you could get for a brew, innit? You know, if it's chucking it down. Fancy the brew, get out at rain for a bit. But I've got my backpack on anyway, so I've got brew kit, food, water and all that. So, stick with me. Don't know where I'm going yet, but we'll have a good bimble about. Catching a bit. There is an active train line just up there. The main uh, Barnsley to Sheffield route. But this, this old railway line is disused. It's right up there. There's another bridge built above this original one. You can see what old stonework, quite an old bridge, isn't it? But I mean, back in the day, industrial age and all that, it served all the pits and local industries, didn't it? So I mean places like this used to be interlaced with railway lines so they could take the coal to uh, along the Transpanian Trail as well when that were a railway line across to Hull and Leeds. And even Liverpool spanned the width of the country from east to west. I believe there's a few people uh, unfortunately took their lives here and hung themselves. Quite spooky, there's a bit of rope up there now. There you go. And I'm guessing if I come this way, I had a look on my ordnance survey map before I come out. And I reckon, I'm not going to do it today, this is just a recce to see exactly where it is. Yeah, I know where I can go, follow that footpath along there, and then follow that the field dividing edge, down to that bottom corner. Right, so I've come to the top end of Wunwell Woods now, and I'm going to have a mooch down to the dam. There's a couple of fishing ponds down here, but they haven't been used for ages, or rather the people who ran it. Uh, got rid and the forestry commission took it over but I believe a local fishing syndicate have now taken it over so I'm gonna go and have a look at that as well see what crack is and then uh, maybe join them uh, I'll have a stroll around woods I'll probably go and have a check on Ian Lawrence's camp have a look for him because I know he's busy working just make sure everything's in order and that Still a bit muggy, still might rain, showers on and off, but hey ho, gotta get out. Right, see you in a bit. Oh, I'm just down at dam, this is nice to see. Somebody's actually taking it over. 
Mumwell Dam Community Angling Club. Brilliant. Adult single rod, three quid. Juveniles, one pound fifty. Year tickets, adult, thirty quid for one rod. Juveniles, fifteen quid for a year. So that's quite good. Happy days. At least it's been managed now. It's been left for ages. And uh, to be honest, there were some unruly types coming up here. You know what I mean? Taking fish and eating them outside at bank. But hopefully there's a bank warden on there. So you've got two little ponds, you've got this little one up here. Um, I've never fished it, but I know a couple who have. A couple of years ago. So you've got this nice little pond up here, and then you've got the main dam at the bottom. I'm pleased with that. So I've got somewhere close by now where I can just go fishing. Well, I've got that other place near Little as well. There you can see the size of this little pond at top. It's not bad, is it? And you've got your bigger pond down there. I'm going to have a word with some of fishermen if I can. And you can park right down at the bottom, but the gates shut at 8 on a night. Didn't see what time they opened. But, uh, so this is your bigger pond. Plenty jumping. <laughs> Right, I'll catch you in a bit. The rain state at fishing pegs. They've got quite a few over that side. They're all established. Looks like they're on with these, just setting them up to have some decent fishing pegs. Done a cracking job. I'm really chuffed now. So I ain't been up here for yonks to the pond end. Brilliant. Excellento. So I've got this literally two minutes from my house. Excellent. Yeah, now we've left the ponds. We've just been talking to some fishermen. Really good. Nice to see it being looked after again. So I've come up to what I call the Sasquatch part of the wood. Because you get these structures. You watch them uh, Sasquatch type documentaries. They tend to do this with trees, don't they? Just randomly put branches up against trees. It doesn't even make sense, it doesn't even make a camp, does it? Just odd, but they pop up all over. But mainly, in this part of wood. Well weird. So this bit I'm naming Sasquatch Wood. <laughs> oh, we've got Dogman in this country, haven't we? <laughs> Take some dog biscuits for him. <laughs> There's another little one there. He's probably kids in it. Just seems random, but you never see anybody doing it. Just seems to appear bizarrely. Every other tree. Somebody's made an effort with one here. There's probably just kids in it. Can't see it's Sasquatch using rope. <laughs> this one they've had to go up putting some bracken on it. Is there a way in? Yeah, not much room in there though. <laughs> cool. Sasquatch wood. Dogman wood. UK dogman. Building his kennel. There's bloody loads of them. Well Ian, you'd be pleased to know your camp's still safe and sound. Even after all that rain we've been having. 
got a bit of a <laughs> bit of water here. I'll just get rid of that. But underneath it looks quite dry, mate. The tin of sardines are still there, look. <laughs> my typhoon tea bag and my calling card. Yeah, it's quite dry underneath, mate. We're still here. Happy days. I obviously made sure nobody were following me or around when I broke track to come in here. Lovely jubbly. I bet you've not been up for a while, have you? But I was just having a good wonder around woods today and I thought I'd just bob in, have a check for you. Make sure everything were our eat. Happy days, mate. I'll, uh, I'll send you a, a private message on messenger thingy. Alright, dude. Right here, while I were looking right I thought I'd, I might as well just check on it, make sure your camp's alright, like we've just seen, there was just a bit of water bowing on one of the corners where I've moved. Fetched my little pack. Yeah, it was here, just that corner there where it had puddled. I'll try and uh, do a bit of weight so it doesn't puddle again, mate. But underneath where you sit, absolutely dry as a bone. Sardine tin's still there, look. Typhoon tea bag and my little calling card. <laughs> I'm just going to have another brew mate, with my Norwegian kit. Right, a six plodder will kill me. <laughs> he'll be pulling his hair out. Every time he sees me who's ex, he says, put two foil at bottom. <laughs> Do you know what, I went and actually got some tin foil as well and I forgot to put it on. <laughs> Sorry mate. <laughs> but yeah, I love this uh, I love this Yugi kit, Yugoslavian mess kit, it's brilliant. Really good. Got some three in one coffee in that bit. Nice one. I'll just put my walking stick up there just to lift that end up a bit so I can get in easy enough. If you look round, it's beautiful. Quiet as hell. It's raining from time to time. But it's dry as a bone under here. I think I've got an OTT with XE. <laughs> Never mind, I've got plenty. It's only one block broken up. I should have just used half, I suppose. There you go. <sighs> Can't beat it. Peace and quiet in the woods and a bro. In a cracking little camp what Ian's made. I still can't get in my camp, it's, I'm going to have to go up there with a big machete and uh, hack my way through when it's dry. I'm going to do it today and as I set off it started raining. I had a look down at Convict's Tunnel. So I'm going to try and get across field there but that all went through so I just ended up having a water out woods. And as you've seen I went and checked out the fishing pond. And then on my way back I sort of popped into Ian's den. <laughs> it's like being a kid again isn't it in woods. <laughs> Right, I'm going to enjoy this brew. I'll come back to you in a bit. Yeah, it's good to get out. Good to get in woods. I mean, think about it, right? You live in a box. You go to work in a box. If you're lucky enough to have a job, you work in a box. Out here, nothing square. Nature's not square, is it? And it lets you get out of that rat race. 
the 5G environment of Wi-Fi and interconnectivity gets you away from all that lets you connect back with nature a form of meditation really isn't it lets you connect again with the proper stuff not internet and Wi-Fi come fuddling your brain <laughs> I'll be wearing a tin foil hat soon, when I? Happy days. Can't beat this though. Just completely relaxing. Could easily fall asleep. 